there are several reasons to remove backgrounds from photos right i do it all the time to make all kinds of content be it videos or memes and if you're wondering how you can do that you have come to the right place because in this video if you hang on till the end you will understand how to remove backgrounds from photos with three different methods that are super easy let's get them started Okay, this is the first method and it's perhaps the easiest one. It's so easy that it's almost anticlimactic. So first up, you have to open remove.bg in your browser and then drop the photo of your choice in the box. The site runs its own machine learning magic on the photo and within two seconds, you end up with a decently separated photo. Now you just download the photo and boom, you now have a subject separated from its background. This website is also available in the form of an Android app. It works in a similar fashion. You tap on upload, then give permission to access your images and files, and then choose an image and let the app work its magic. You then tap download, and then you'll have the photo on your smartphone. This method ranks really high up thanks to its ease of access and just simple to use nature but it does have a few flaws if you don't sign up and buy credits you will end up with a photo that is about 50 percent of the original resolution second in some photos the machine learning text still struggles to differentiate background and foreground yes you can try correcting the image by clicking on edit and then choosing erase or restore but the tool itself is very clunky also, you need to be connected to the internet to use this, which may be a downer for some people. It took us a little bit of digging around to come across this app for iOS devices because other apps were either not free or had some really annoying watermarks. And you can download this app by going to the mini link that's flashing on the screen right now or just by going in the description and clicking on that. Now using the app is pretty straightforward. You open the app, tap on load a new photo and then give permission to either select a few images or all images depending on your preference. Then you can just select your photo, adjust the cropping a little bit, then tap done and then make a few changes according to your own preferences and then again tap done and finally hit save easy as pie you'll find an image straight up in your photos app as a vector.png no internet required minimal intervention to fix photos and it's free if you have enjoyed this video so far all the methods that we are discussing do not forget to like the video and also consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon so that you are always notified of our latest videos So what if you want to pull out the big guns and take it all the way to Photoshop? Is there a one tap solution for this? Yes, there is when it comes to Photoshop CC 2020 because it has Adobe Sensei machine learning that lets you just click on a single button and just remove your background. It's a fuzz free method. It doesn't require any kind of lasso tool, nothing. First up, load an image on Photoshop, then click on Window and then choose Properties. Here you'll find a hidden option called Remove Background. Click on that and boom, background gone. Then you can either add a background to your layer or save an image by clicking on File, Save As and then choose the PNG image format. You can then choose how much compression you want and you have an image without a background. That is it. Three simple methods that let you remove backgrounds from photos without a lot of effort. Which one's your favorite or which one is the method that you're using currently? Let us know in the comments and for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.